Hello guys, in this today's video tutorial, we are going to see how to convert a 3D part or a 3D body into a sheet metal part. So let's go to file and select new and let's select the part template. Let's select the front plane, click on sketch and now let's select the rectangle. So we are going to create a cuboid basically. So let's define this sketch for that. Let's select smart dimension and define the dimension let it be 4 inches and this also let it be 3 inches ok so now click on ok and exit the sketch go to features extrude let's define the length to be 6 inches for example and make it ok so here we have this cuboid and the task what we are going to do is to convert this uh, body, 3D body part of SOLIDWORKS into a sheet metal object. So for that, we will go to sheet metal and here we have the convert to sheet metal option. Let's select this. First of all, what we will see sheet metal parameters. In this, the first thing we are going to see is select a fixed entity. Here the SOLIDWORKS is asking for us fixed face. Any face which we are going to consider as a fixed entity. So at the bottom, we are going to consider this phase as the fixed entity. So let's select this. So in the present example, we are going to consider this much of thickness. Next we have is the reverse thickness option. If you will see closely, if you will check this reverse thickness, it is going to add the thickness in the opposite direction. For the present case, we don't need this uh, reverse thickness. Next is, we have is the key body. I will tell you about this option later on. Next we have is the bending radius or you can say the radius at which the faces will bend. So uh, in this example, I'm considering the thickness of the sheet metal and the bending radius to be similar. Next we have is the bend edges. Right now SOLIDWORKS is asking for the edges which we want to be bent. So in this particular case, I want these four edges in the bottom to have a bend. So let's select them. Let's start with this one. First bend, second bend, third bend and the fourth bend. So here we have the four uh, bend edges all together. Next you can see uh, we have a checkbox for the callouts and these are the callouts basically for the bend edges. If you want to make them hide just uncheck this box and they will be gone so next we have the rip edges as you can see uh, we have some pink colored edges which software has automatically detected now you can see these are the two faces first one and the second one and they have a edge the first one face and the second one face and SOLIDWORKS has automatically detected this edge over here as a rip edge. It means that eventually if we are considering the bottom to be bent, these two edges to be bent, so this edge will going to rip apart. So SOLIDWORKS has automatically detected it and we have four rip edges over here and similarly the callouts for the rip edges next we have is the rip sketch i will tell about this later on in this video next we have the corner defaults here uh, we will define the corner so right now as you can see here we have the first corner over here this corner is where two adjacent edges will meet so the first corner we have is the over butt uh, as you can see over here, this is the over but this is how it looks like. Next we have is the overlap. So let's see how it looks like. If you will select this overlap. So this is how it looks like. And next we have is the underlap. So these are the different, uh, you can say the corners in the sheet metal. So in the first corner, what we have is the open but you can define that gap between the two corners okay so right now let's make this some changes so i'm increasing the 
gap between the corners and you can see the changes appearing okay so it has some limited value after that it will not exceed or decrease so next we have is overlap ratio in most of the cases uh, we consider ratio to be one okay and next we have is custom bend allowance if you will open this here you can uh, specify the bending allowance for this particular object sheet metal object so right now let's select the bend allowance to be half inches next we have the auto relief auto relief is going to define the corner as you can see in the bottom we have a corner over here and three faces one two and three are going to connect together so this auto relief command will help you to decide the corner so in majority of the cases we are going to use the tier corner and you will see later on how it look like so let's select tier okay uh, after making all this selection we are going to make okay so let's check this so this is our conversion of 3d component into a sheet metal part about the corner as you can see here we have the tier apart corner okay this is how it look likes and and you can see our 3d component or the 3d body has been converted perfectly into a sheet metal part so now let's make some research in the uh, design tree what we will see first of all after the boss extrude we have the sheet metal so let's right click over here and go to edit feature so in this you can see we have this bending uh, radius and the thickness okay and the bending allowance and the auto relief next we have is the convert solid let's go to this and edit this feature here you can again decide the bend edges or rip edges or the corner default or the auto relief in the present example we use auto relief to be tier so let's make some changes and let's make it rectangular so you can see how it look like in a rectangular form we have a round so let's see this is how a round take place okay let auto relief to be tier in this present case and now let's move forward and let's see the option key body if you will select this key body and make okay you will see the 3d component and the sheet metal components will be together okay but we don't need this right now let's remove this so let's remove the body and make it okay now let's flatten the sheet metal component so let's go to flatten the flatten command is basically to derive the flat pattern for this sheet metal component for the laser cutting purposes so let's select the flatten and here you will see this is the pattern what we are going to use to make this sheet metal component okay from a sheet raw sheet basically so let's come back now one thing more but if this flat pattern you are going to consider for the manufacturing there will be a lot of wastage of the raw material sheet as you can see this side this side this side and this side these four sides will be useless if you are going to consider this flat pattern so let's make some changes to this flat pattern so let's see how we can make uh, this flat pattern more uh, efficient so that uh, less amount of uh, material wastage will be there so let's go back let's go back and uh, let's go to convert solid again and let's edit this feature so right now i'm going to make some changes in the in the bent edges let's remove them all so now let's reconsider the bend edges let's make this edge as a bend edge and now for example you can consider this edge to be a bending edge and accordingly this second edge 
to be a bending edge and the last one okay. so now let's see the changes what we will get in the flat pattern make it okay so we have the same sheet metal body but now let's see the changes in the flat pattern so let's go to the flat and here you will see the flat pattern so the amount of material wastage is here only at one side and the rest of the side we are going to use for the sheet metal component so i think in this case the wastage for the raw material will be less accordingly you can modify this um, flat pattern so that the wastage of raw material can be made less and cost can be reduced okay let's go back now we are left with one option and that is and that is we have is the rip sketches so let's see how to use this rip sketches for that let's go back and let's delete this sheet metal completely so we have removed the sheet metal process completely here we have the 3d uh, body let's select this face and let's select this sketch over here let's select this line and make a line like this so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tear apart this particular face using a line a sketched line so after making this line let's go to convert to sheet metal and let's select the bottom so or the fixed entity basically so here i'm going to select this bottom face as to be the fixed entity and here we have the rip sketch let's select this line as the rip sketch okay so now we have to define the bent edges so let's define this edge to be bent this and this one and this one basically so now after selecting all the bend edges just make it check so here you can see here we have the edge a rip edge basically so this is how you can easily rip a body sheet metal body using a sketch in sheet metal so this was all about how to convert a 3D body into a sheet metal object in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.